What's up, YouTube? Pokey Primer here, Prime and ready to deliver you another team update for the Anaheim Appletons here in the NPBF. Uh, I know I said last time I wasn't really planning on a lot of free agency transactions, but over the course of our matches, uh, I've noticed one key thing um, about our team is that our fairy type here, Suave the Whimscott, is dog shit. Now, I, I don't know if it's just because I'm playing it poorly, which I probably am. Uh, I know I prepped it badly for our week four match, but that re regardless, it j its damage output is meh at best. Like meh meh at best. Uh, running calcs with it is saddening because it does like nothing damage wise. Um, and even when I'm trying to take advantage of its prankster shenanigans, um, it's just, it's, it's very lackluster. It has been very lackluster thus far. Um, like, I don't know. It seems like every single matchup I want to bring it to, I just feel like it's bad in the matchup. It's just not doing what I need it to do. It's not living hits that I needed to live, and that's not good for me. I need this thing to be... The, my goal with my extra picks is to grab mons that resist in my weaknesses, can live those hits, and can, like, sort of mess them up back a little bit, right? Wimscott's just not doing it. It's just not doing it well. So... Uh, I was looking around in the fairy pool and the dark pool, and there really isn't a lot of good stuff left. I wanted something that could still uh, fill its role, resist the things it needs to resist. Um, so that was the goal in looking down there, and I found something with the exact same typing that um, I've never used before. Uh, but on paper, it has some potential. So I decided to give it a shot, uh, see if I like it a little bit more. Uh, if I don't like it, I'll give it like one or two weeks and I might pick Moomscott back up. But for now, uh, we're going to give this a shot and see uh, if it if it pans out. Uh, so we're dropping Swab the Moomscott and we're picking up on a list the Shinotic. And you look at him and you tell me he's not on some government watch list somewhere. He has to register, like this guy has to register himself in any new community he comes into. This guy is a sex offender. Look at this face. He is a sex offender. He is on that list. You check somewhere, Shinotic is on there. I believe that. So first thing, like, I want to compare stat-wise between the two, okay? Same HP stat, right? Less attack on Shinotic's side, but we're not looking for that. Slightly less defense. It's so kind of a little bit of a eh. Big buff in special attack. 77 to 90, really decent buff. Huge buff in Spadef, 75 to 100. That is big. So it's a much better overall wall than Whimsicott is already. And obviously we lose a lot of speed, but with Whimsicott, we, the speed didn't matter anyway. It's because of the prankster stuff, so it didn't matter. And honestly, I don't really care about the speed for this. Okay, so... This thing, I feel, is, is a little bit more bulky. Um, never, obviously, going to use Eliminate, obviously, because it's such a competitive use, but Effect Spore, 30% um, chance to get uh, a status off on something that makes contact with this thing. Always a good thing to have. Good thing for U-turn switch-ins. Good thing for st um, any really physical teams uh, that will be coming our way. Uh, that's always a nice thing to have. Um, so I'm definitely going to be looking to do that a lot. Uh, and then Rain Dish. Rain Dish actually uh, gives this thing like an extra basically leftovers, I think it is. That leftovers does 1 16th. Yeah. So it just gives it an extra leftovers when the rain is up, which is super duper nice. So uh, even if I don't bring lefties on this mon, I can uh, definitely still have some form of recovery, which is nice. Um, other, other things I like about Shinotic Obviously, it has its you know, standard fairy stabs, dazzling gleam, moon blast, etc., etc. Um, grass stab in like Giga Drain, 
uh, and such. Energy ball, the, you know, the usual. Uh, it still has access to Leech Seed, which I think is important. Magic Coat could be fun uh, to mess with people. Uh, the big thing is this thing has Spore and Strength Sap. Two moves I am a major, major fan of. And this thing also gets Sludge Bomb, by the way, so I can hit other Grass types. Um, so that's cool. Uh, and Thunder Wave and Sludge Toxic. I don't think this thing gets Thunder Wave. No, it doesn't. It's the best way to paralyze things is Stun Spore. So Having access to Thunder Wave is really, really good, but having access to Spore and Strength Sap are even better. So having that guaranteed sleep uh, is really, really nice. Uh, having Weather Ball, uh, so I can use uh, Weather Ball uh, on... Um, use Weather Ball... Uh, my brain just shot. Use that water type weather ball in the rain to really mess some people up, which I think could be really cool. Uh, and then strength sap to basically <laughs> this move is borderline busted. Um, if I can live a hit from something, I can just recover myself from full. And if I've already lived the hit once at neutral attack, I'm going to live it once I've made you minus one. So from there, I can just bully things into submission, which is really great. Bully things into switching out, which I'm just going to be clicking strength sap anyway. So I'm going to consistently be weakening your, all of their physical mons to the point where it's shenanigans it can't be broken by them. That's the key thing here is I have ways of making shenanigans even bulkier than it typically is. Um, I just feel overall like this thing just gives me so much more... I can do with I, I can do so much more with Shinotic than I can with uh, Moves Caught. I feel I feel like this gives me more options, you know. So yeah, that is our uh, that's our new Mon. On a list, we'll hopefully be making some appearances soon. Uh, obviously, won't be making any appearances in our Week Five match against Alex and the Grand Caratinas, uh, but. Uh, yeah, that is going to be the case. Uh, so, yes. Oh, I forgot to stop the recording. Oops. <laughs> I completely spaced out there for a second. Um, I'll edit that out. But, um, yeah. Shinonic is on the team. I'm super duper hyped to have Shinonic on the team. I've never used it before, so this is going to be fun. We're going to see what happens. But uh, with that being said, uh, I'm going to get out of here. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, I'm Bookie Primer, signing off. Peace.